So this one was recommended to us. It's I Hear You Forest. It's by Callie George and Carmen Mock. You see a little girl or a small child laying down on the grass with a relaxed face and closed eyes. There's one, two bunnies. And we see a squirrel. And I'm not sure what animal this is. And two birds that look kind of like hands. All right, well, let's read it. This talks about nature and empathy and other good things. All right, to Nala, who loves listening to the forest, KG. For mom and dad, who always encourage me to explore the world, CM. I hear you, Forrest. This comma means you, you stop for a moment. Callie George, Carmen Mock, published by Greystone Kids. The forest has lots to say. But that means you trail off if you listen. So you need to stop and listen. Oh, look at the giant flowers. I don't think they're giant. Maybe we're just much closer to them. But there's a bird and a child walking through beautiful flowers. Creak, creak. I hear you, trees stretching skyward. Are you trying to tickle clouds? Oh, that's a fun idea. Like a little squirrel. I like these are different trees. This one's got white bark. This one's got dark brown bark. Russell, Russell. I hear you leaves sharing secrets. So that's where Robin hides her eggs. Oh, there's two Robins and they're one, two, three, four, five eggs. I love the flowers, a variety of leaves. Croak, croak. I hear you, frog, watching wide-eyed. Who will blink first? Whoops. I did. Oh, what about the snail? Well, it's kind of hard to see, know where a snail's looking, so I don't think you could do a staring contest with them. Look at all of these trees. This is quite the forest. These leaves almost look like bananas. I hear you stream singing softly. Sometimes streams are called babbling brooks because it sounds a little bit like they're talking. May I join and sing along? Oh, look. The rabbit is relaxing and falling asleep because it's safe and quiet. Splish, splish. I hear you, dear, drinking deeply. I will tiptoe gently past. Our past. So when you see wild animals, it's always good to be quiet and keep your distance, even from little ones. Because if you scare them, maybe they won't get the thing they need. Maybe they are hungry or thirsty and they need a little help. Never feed a wild animal or do anything else in that manner without a trusted adult being involved. It can be very dangerous and bad for the animals 
if you feed them or do other things that you would do for a pet. Wild animals are not pets. But staying quiet and staying far enough away and just looking at them is fine. If you're not sure if you're far enough away, ask your adult. Nibble, nibble. I hear you, squirrels, tasting treasures. Is it time to stop and snack? Mm-hmm. All day. Squirrels need a lot of energy. How many squirrels are there on these pages? One, two, three, four squirrels. Mm -hmm. You see she got her eyes closed or they've got their eyes closed and they're listening. Ooh. I hear you breeze blowing by me. Here's a wish to take with you. Have you ever blown flower petals or the little dandelion fluff and made a wish? When I was a little monster, we made those wishes too. Drip, drip. I hear you, dewdrops, dancing downward. Ooh, the gravity's pulling them down. Do you get dizzy? Spinning sh 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 round. Yep, yeah, because the way our planet is made. There's such a thing as clockwise and counterclockwise for how things ought to fall. Mm. Is there water falling on our little friend? There is. Do they, how do they feel about that? Well, let's look at their face. Their eyes are closed. Hmm, that doesn't tell me a lot but their mouth is big and wide and open. I think they're having fun. All right, skitter, skitter. I hear you, beetle, balancing bravely. Mama, watch what I can do. Oh, they're climbing up high in the tree. If you're gonna climb in the tree, you should have a trusted adult be around in case something happens. As falling from a tree is not good. So having your trusted adult there with you to help judge if it's safe and maybe protect you is a good idea. How many birds do we see? One, two, three. There's just the one beetle I see. Do you see more? I do not. Shh. I see you, Stone, staying silent. Are you listening just like me? Skitter, skitter, drip, drip. Nibble, nibble. Rook, rook. Splish, splish. Trickle, trickle. Rustle, rustle. Creak, creak. Oh, look at all of the animals. There's a moose, bald eagle, and deer, and an owl, and another bald eagle. What a big forest. A little child. Always visit things like this with an adult, with your trusted adult. I hear you, Forrest, and all you say. Mm-hmm. I heart or love you, Forrest. Mm-hmm. Look at now the forest is home to so many animals. The forest is important for our hearts and spirits and for the life of these animals. There's many free parks in the United States and there's many places everywhere in the world where there's just a little bit of green 
take some time when you're with a trusted adult or you're, you've got a little bit of safe area to be, just to stop and enjoy the wind through the trees, or the flowers, just something. So it's good for you and your heart. So that was I Hear You, Forest. I hope you enjoyed it. I liked it quite a bit. And you have a great day.